So, good afternoon, Ravita. Uh, can you, uh, to start with, just introduce a bit about DMIC and the scope of this project? Actually, the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor is being created on the backbone of the dedicated freight corridor. And the dedicated freight corridor will link up the political capital of India, Delhi, to the economic capital, Mumbai. And this will enable goods which are produced in the northern part of India to reach uh, the ports on the western coast within 12 to 13 hours. Today it takes about 13 to 14 days. So this will be a big revolution when this happened in 2017. Mm -hmm. This will be a completely new container train carrying goods, double stacking, triple stacking. And uh, this opens up a huge opportunity to do urbanization, manufacturing, uh, value added uh, production on either side of this container train. So the government of India uh, is of the view that in the next three decades, you'll have more than 500 million Indians getting into the urbanization process. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll, India will be a very young country with the median age of population at about 25. India will be passing through a window of demographic transition. And the biggest challenge is to provide jobs for young Indians. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, the manufacturing sector must grow at rates of 15 to 16 percent per annum over the next three decades okay. and therefore the government of India's intention is to create large manufacturing hubs but when, when manufacturing takes off in the scale urbanization is a lo logical mm -hmm. consequence of this growth because young people workers move in and therefore the government of India is uh, making 24 new cities between on the backbone of this and in the first phase seven new cities are being created one in each state of India except Mehraj where two new cities are being created. And uh, this is a process of both manufacturing and urbanization and it opens up very vast opportunities. This is one of the largest projects in the world. This is India's most ambitious infrastructure project. Now India has been a very reluctant urbanizer but what it, this project does is it enables India to utilize this challenge and use this opportunity mm -hmm. to make a quantum jump by using good technology and uh, technology to drive growth, technology to urbanize, technology to manufacture and technology in the process of new urbanization. And therefore, I think this is a big opportunity for India to use what is known, traditionally known as the smart city concept or smart and intelligent city mm -hmm. or what we call as the ubiquitous cities and so that uh, digital technology can be used effectively across different sectors. And so we finished the master planning of these seven cities. We've mm -hmm. got these plans notified. We've got the ICT master plans made on top of the geographical master plans. And uh, we are appointing program managers. We have detailed uh, engineering for these works. So it opens up a very vast opportunity for companies, mm -hmm. both EPC, PPP contracts, it opens up opportunities in the transportation sector. It opens up opportunity in the logistics sector. It opens up very vast opportunities in manufacturing. And uh, it's an opportunity which the French companies must utilize, tap into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, large companies in the power sector like Alstom, uh, transportation companies, very vast transportation companies in France has a lot of expertise in, uh, in transportation. Yeah. Uh, logistic companies and of course uh, companies who are very advanced in digital technology but it also requires very good planning and therefore we are looking for companies which have done very good geographical master planning mm -hmm. use technology mm -hmm. uh, in uh, digital technology in the process of urbanization I think there's a lot of for us to learn from the process of urbanization in France because France is one country which has used the cities its city is very effectively for growth. Yeah. And actually, uh, while you know, 19th century was a century of empires and 20th century was a century of countries, 21st century will essentially be a century of cities. And it will be cities which will compete with each other. And therefore, there's a lot to learn from the French cities, such as uh, Paris is, mm -hmm. a, is a unique example of a very vibrant, live uh, city. And therefore, I think there's plenty for us to work in partnership with France. Okay. What is the in the financial terms of the scope of investment that's required for the whole project of the first phase? The total project? size of the project is 90 billion. It's of course phased out. 
but uh, there are there are very significant opportunities in transportation there are very significant opportunities in uh, logistics there are very significant opportunities in uh, manufacturing mm -hmm. uh, there are very significant opportunities in housing in workers housing now i do not expect construction companies of france to come in, but i d definitely expect transportation power renewable energy yeah. uh, i ex expect cutting edge technology companies of france to come in mm -hmm. and look at the vast domestic market of india because this will be a growing expanding market of india yeah. and i think so so uh, it's a growing expanding market mm -hmm. and i think this market opens up opportunities and uh, that the strength of the indian market is its uh, vast domestic Yeah. Uh, demand and also the fact that India is uh, very short of good quality infrastructure, mm -hmm. and that whatever infrastructure that we make, we are we are making, you know, we'll make this infrastructure uh, for yesterday and uh, huge pent up demand which needs to be tapped into, and uh, it's an opportunity. Uh, okay. For what kind of foreign Participation have we seen so far? Which countries or which companies have come? Well, all our planners are all international planners. Mm -hmm. We have uh, AECOM, we have CH two M, we have Jurong from Singapore, we have Cooper Compagnons, we have Lee Associates. Mm -hmm. IBM is working for us. Cisco is working for us. So these are all large areas, and we don't work on. We believe in getting the world's best expertise, and therefore we expect. Uh, some of the best companies from France. And how are you reaching out to these companies? Are you doing road shows? Uh, how how are you creating awareness? Well, in the initial stages, we are at the stage of planning. We are at mm -hmm. the stage of program management. We are at the stage of detailed engineering. But after this, we have impaneled all these consultants. Mm -hmm. We have impaneled all these agencies through a very rigorous process of advertising. We do, we select them on both quality and cost. But as we get into execution, uh, we would like uh, French companies to get selected on the merit. Okay, and uh, can you talk about particular cities? Like you said, seven cities are so coming up. So there are up. Which seven are the cities. Most advanced stage currently. Uh, the most advanced is Dholera in Gujarat, mm -hmm. which has been made over nine thirty square kilometers. Then there is Digi in Maharashtra, the Shendra in Maharashtra. There's Pitampur Dharmao in Madhya Pradesh. Mm -hmm. uh, then you come down. There's Kushkeda, Bihari, Nimrana in Rajasthan. Then there is uh, 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 Manesa in Haryana mm -hmm. and Dadri, Noida, Ghaziabad in UP. Okay, but no construction has actually started on any of these. Construction started in Gujarat and Maharashtra. Okay, okay. What is the? But our view is that it's important to. do proper planning proper yeah. detailed engineering mm -hmm. india must learn this art of good planning and good detailed engineering and then getting into execution rather than getting into execution very early mm -hmm. without adequate homework okay. you mentioned logistics you mentioned uh, transportation and urban services have you reached out to these companies in some way which is swiss veolia we work in we i i think uh, several of the french companies have interacted with us mm -hmm. uh, there's a huge challenge of water in yeah. this and we Discuss this with companies like Veolia, and I think there's an opportunity for these companies to participate uh, and find solutions to it. Power to water. Veolia is a very fine company. Alstom is a very fine company. TGV is a very fine company. These are examples of world leadership in technology, and we must get these companies to vigorously act and actively participate. 